Hello. Hello, AOS fans. It's the Agents of Beast Grave back for video two. Video two, but kind of part one. Part one of Beast Grave, and this time it's What's in the Box? What's in the Box? Pete, what's in the box? So, in the box itself, when you open it up, you're going to get a whole raft of stuff. You're going to get some plastic sprues, which you're going to be using to make your models. You might want some clippers for those, uh, but you should be able to push fit them, so you shouldn't need anything else other than some clippers. You don't need glue. Um, yeah, clippers Clippers are great. You can use a scalpel, but you might lose your fingers if you push up your old teeth like me. Um, I would recommend investing in them. They're only better. If you can get pairs for a fiver, they're not brilliant if you pay only pay a fiver for them, but they do They do. do the job. Yeah, yeah. You get some boards that don't look like this one, but very similar with hex based designs on them. Uh, you'll get two of those in the box. Yep, they're all the same size, um, and, but they do have the where things go and where you can put things in different places on different boards. And there's a tactical element to which board you choose, um, but you'll find out about that in a later video. You'll also get dice. There's three different colours of dice there's black ones, white ones, and sort of teal coloured ones teal, yeah. some are for magic some are for defending yourself some are for attacking other people but again we'll cover they those they are custom dice they're not a standard D6 yes, with the numbers 1 to 6 they each have different symbols on them so they you do. get attack dice defence dice and spell dice and they all have their own brand of symbol yep. although they all have the fabled crit on Ooh. them which is a big exclamation mark and we'll cover that a little while later you're also going to get reams and reams of thick cardboard with lots of tokens in to punch out Ooh. you'll have wound tokens you'll have other tokens on the other side of the wounds, which we can cover later on, but they're for some specific rules. Yeah, they're the same token, but they have, they're double-sided. Yeah. You'll also get glory tokens, and again, we'll come on to those later. They're sort of goldy on one side and grey on the other. You'll also have lots of what are called objective tiles, also lethal hexes, and also a scatter token. Yeah, do handle those lethal hexes carefully. They're oh, yeah. sharp. They can be dangerous. You're also going to get some cards for your wall bands. You're going to get some cards for the Wild Hunt, and you're also going to get some cards for the Despoilers, the Beastmen and the Elves. Uh, you're also going to get packs of cards for them, so you're already able to play them straight out of the box. Yep, um, you basically get three types of card in the game. You get your uh, fighter cards, which is for, there's one card for each model you have in the box. So I think the Despoilers come with six models, do they? They do, yep. Yep, and the Wild Hunt come with uh, five, and there's a card for each each of those yep. goes with it. So when you're playing on the, uh, on the board, then your fighter is represented by your card, and you, you look at his information on the card. So that's the first type of card. The second type of card are power cards, uh, oh, and they oh. are grey grey backed. And there's two types of those. We'll go into that into detail. But they they are they are kind of like the things that you can do. You can upgrade your fighters and their special skills that they can use to to improve to to do what you're trying to do in the game. And the final type is kind of what you're trying to do. That's the objective cards. They have a gold back, and they're kind of like pretty much how you win the game. They're the things that you score with. Yep. Uh, and again, we will cover that in a later video. So there's three. There's, so there's those three types of cards. Fighter cards, power cards, and objective cards. Yep. Now you might be turning the box upside down and inside out and looking for a ruler, but there isn't one. The whole thing's hex-based. All your models will have a range that they can move, and that's the number of hex they can move. And we will cover moving in another video. But don't worry, there's no little wibbly-wobbly see-through no, ruler No, it does make the game. game much easier to play, and you have a lot less arguments because there's no, like, is that six inches... It literally is six hexes, or it's not six hexes. There's no exactly. And last but not least, there's a rule book in there as well, and a little quick how to play guide. Hopefully, you can chuck the how to play guide away, and you'll just be able to follow us, and we'll tell you everything you need to know. Ooh. But you might want to look at that as well. Yeah, probably, especially if you're in an area without any Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see you soon in the Beast Grave. <laughs>